Welcome family to the celestial theory. Join me as I dive into the mystery of a strange object lurking between Saturn and Uranus and uncover what the James Webb Space Telescope just revealed that has astronomers stunned. Something unusual is drifting in the shadows of our solar system in a place we thought we knew, but clearly don't. And this object might just change everything we thought we understood about our cosmic neighborhood. Between Saturn and Uranus lies a region of space that's often overlooked. It's vast, cold, and sparsely populated, a kind of no man's land in our solar system. But it turns out, it might be hiding secrets. For decades, astronomers have suspected there could be more out there, small, icy bodies left over from the birth of the solar system. But detecting them has been almost impossible. They're too faint, too far, too elusive, until now. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye in the sky. With its unprecedented infrared vision, it can spot objects so cold and distant that even Hubble missed them. Recently, JWST made a surprising detection, a small, dark object orbiting quietly between Saturn and Uranus, too faint for previous telescopes to detect, but clearly real. And this wasn't just any rock. Its movement, its orbit, and even its composition sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. So, what exactly is this object? Based on JWST's data, it's likely a dwarf planet or a large asteroid, measuring perhaps a few hundred kilometers across. It's cold, dark, possibly ancient. But here's where it gets really weird. Its chemical signature doesn't quite match anything we've seen before in this region. It may contain ices and compounds that are typically found much farther out, near the Kuiper Belt or even beyond. Could this object have migrated inward over billions of years? Or is it a fossil fragment, a relic from the earliest days of the solar system, untouched and hidden until now? You see, surviving between Saturn and Uranus isn't easy. The gravitational pull from these two gas giants is immense, constantly tugging and destabilizing nearby objects. That's why scientists are so puzzled. How did this object end up in this region? And how has it stayed there for so long without being flung out into deep space? Some researchers now believe this may be part of a hidden population of objects, a long theorized but never proven group that lives in gravitational equilibrium zones between the outer planets. If true, we might have just opened a whole new chapter in planetary science. And here's the most thrilling part. 